Ham Radio. Welcome back, everybody. It's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader. And today we're going to cover setting a static IP address for your All Star Link 3 node. Let's say you want to set it to a static IP. It's pretty easy, actually. We're going to come to your landing page of your node, and we're going to go to the, the uh, cockpit here through the web admin portal. And when we do, just log in. And make sure you have administrative access. Come down to networking. And once you're in networking, you're going to go to whichever device you have connected. Most likely it'll be ETH0 if you're wired or WLAN0 if you're Wi-Fi connected in to your All-Star Link node. You can click that. And you will get some basic information here of what the amount of data that's being transmitted and received by your All Star Link node. And right here is the network adapter information. This is the wireless LAN zero, so it, this is its status. It's currently at this IP address, etc. So we want to come here to automatic DHCP and hit edit. And once we're here, we're going to go to the upper right hand corner and change that to manual. And then we just type in the IP address we desire, 192.168.1.205 for this example. This is my current net mask, which is pretty common amongst most home routers. And my gateway is 192.168.1.1, which is pretty common for most. Now, you can also come down here and set your own DNS if you wish to. And if you're doing a static, it's a very good idea to do that. I like to use And you can even add a second one if you wish. Or you can even do. These are pretty common public DNS servers. And if you need to set a DNS search domain or a static route, you can do that here. I'm going to hit save. It will test the connection, restore the connection. And the connection will be lost. Changing the settings will break the connection to the server and make the administration user interface unavailable. We're going to change the settings because we know where to go. And we know that, that our local host name here will get us back to where we need to be. And we're back in. And our network page, networking page is there, and you can see here that our IP address is now static to the way we set it. And to change it from static to dynamic is just the reverse process. You can click right back on your network adapter, come down to the IPv4, hit edit, change it back from manual to automatic DHCP, save it, it will test the connection and restore the connection and give you that same caution, change the settings. I believe the node will be resetting its configuration with inside itself, so it's always a good idea just to log out of the session, close the browser, log out of the session, give it a few minutes to reset, and then you can log back in. And you're right back to your landing page, go back to your web admin portal, the cockpit, and log back in. Go to networking and can you can see you're right back to your DHCP address. And the steps are the same way for ETH0. I like to call that ETH0. It's your Ethernet adapter or your network adapter that is hardwired. You can set it here as well from automatic to manual. It's just that easy. So I hope this information was helpful, and if you need anything, you know, give us a holler. This is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, saying 73s, wishing all the good signals to be yours, and ham on, y'all.